Hey y'all, Eve Belize, welcome back. If you're new here, thank you for stopping by. Hope you find value in the video and subscribe. So I am on week three of doing my washing goes with no oils and no butter. And this week I'm trying a gel that's considered a botanical gel, one of the gel that you should be using to do this. I am simply experimenting with different gels to see what works best for my hair. My preference is always my extreme gel. Today I'm using Uncle Funky's Daughter Curly Magic Curl Stimulator. I bought this at Target. It was about $15.99 and it says that it has no parabens sulfates it's free of mineral oils and it also says that it flex your curl muscle naturally with our aloe base firm hold so it's saying that this has a firm hold so that is interesting um my hair is freshly washed i use the art naturals apple cider vinegar shampoo and i went in with the aussie moist um, three minute conditioner and I also did a deep conditioner on my hair this week do whatever is best for your hair my hair felt like it needed some moisture and I'm not going to negate my hair from the moisture I'm used to doing a deep conditioner every time I wash my hair anyway so that's the norm for me I'm going to be using this along with my water I don't know if this gel is gonna have a hard enough hole that I'm used to. So this is the amount that I'm gonna use. But it looks like it has some slick to it. It does not have that heaviness that I'm used to. Um, I should trust the process, right? And just keep going. I need a little bit more in my ends. This is not what I'm used to when I put gel in my hair, but um, I'm going to trust the process. My curls are defined. I'm just not used to my hair being so poofy when I put gel in my hair, but I'm trying something new today. And if I truly want to see what it's going to do, I need to just go on and carry through the process. I am so tempted right now to just add my other gel to this, but I'm truly gonna keep going. I don't want to put a lot of the gel in my hair because I don't know if this gel is sticky or not. I just don't want my hair to feel really clammy. So I'm going in with just enough. I am so iffy right now how my hair is turning out. I am nervous because this is not what I'm used to. But I'm going to keep going. It definitely has a great slip to it. And you know I'm used to shingling my hair. Not even that I'm doing. I'm just simply putting this in. Oh my gosh. This is so foreign to me right now. It looks like it's definitely um, forming and setting my curls. <laughs> defined but not super defined it looks really poofy to me already see what the back is looking like this is what i've used so it's still all the way up to here this is gonna go two ways either this is not gonna work out for me and if that is the case i am returning it i am going to sit under the dryer let it dry come back and show you what it's looking like sleep with this overnight and let you see what it's looking like the next day i want to test it go out in the humidity and see what this does for me this is why we should always know 
are here. I'm just not used to this. This is not what I'm used to. I know it might look cute. It looks like it's the curls are there. And then another thing, I don't know if when it's dry, if I'm gonna have that stickiness to it. I don't like that at all. So it's all dry and still no. It doesn't seem really defined. Let me let you see what it's looking like in the back. When I touch my hair, it feels a little tacky, like a little stickiness from the gel. Before I go to sleep, I'm gonna put my hair in braids to sleep as I usually do. If to me, it looks a little frizzy. We'll see what it's looking like tomorrow and go from there. So listen, it's not even the next day and it seems like epic fail. I was just getting ready for bed and I said, well, let me, you know, this is how I braid my hair up to go to sleep, right? You see, I got three braids in already. And when I tell you the stickiness, I can't do this. This is going to have to be washed out right now. And I have high tolerance for stuff in my hair. I would, you know, if it's not the way that I am expecting it, I will at least put up with it for the week because I took all this time to do my hair. But when I tell you, I am about to get back in the shower, baby, and I'm washing this out. Let me show you something. I mean, when I say I truly can't do this, I am, I'm just gonna twist this one. I'm not even gonna braid it up because now I'm gonna put them in two strand twists to get back in the shower. That way I can really undo them one by one and get my hair super clean again. But this stickiness of this, and my hair is dry. I sat it dry for about a good hour. If you could see, see my fingers the stickiness it is really gooky let me see if i can let you hear this i can't do it i simply cannot do it so the gel is going back to targets there's white stuff on my fingers can you see that like it's it's like getting gooey all on my fingers yeah, this is not gonna work, sweetie. So the moral of the story is, when you know your hair, you know your hair, and it's always gonna boil down to you doing what is best for your hair. As for me and my hair and this Uncle Funky Gel, what's the name of it again? The Curl Maker Gel. It's uh, no for me. This is not something I will ever use again and I'm returning it to the store. And you know what? If we don't use stuff, we don't know how it actually works in our hair. That's why it's good to purchase your items at stores where you can return it, whether you use it or not, whether you have a receipt or not. Like, comment if you've used this and had the same experience or had a different experience, drop them in the comment section. So thank you so much for watching and Eve will see you in the next video.